Well, despite the ongoing speaker drama, a House subcommittee held a hearing on a growing problem, crime in cities around the country. And the videos of criminals and repeat offenders victimizing more people, they are everywhere. Congress wants to know what can be done about it. Caroline Shively reports. On Thursday, a House subcommittee took a closer look at spiraling crime in the nation's capital, including this attack on bar owner Gaynor Jablonski. He's in the white shirt on the surveillance video next to his four-year-old son at 2.30 in the afternoon. There's a loaded 9 millimeter. It's kind of hard to see there that was pointed at my son. Not only was it loaded, there was one in the chamber. When I knocked it out of his pants, luckily it didn't go off because it could have killed someone. Police arrested the man and prosecutors cut a deal that would put him behind bars for just eight months. If nobody's going to do their job and prosecute and hold people accountable, what's the point? Republicans say it's part of a larger problem in cities run by Democrats, including Philadelphia, where police are still making arrests after a night of massive looting just weeks ago. When you defund the police and you have prosecutors who go soft on crime, you get more crime. But Democrats are pointing the finger at Republicans. Instead, they seek only to flood these cities with more guns, while they work against meaningful legislation to invest in our communities and support proven public safety measures. For the first half of the year, violent crime is actually down for 37 cities across the U.S., according to the Council on Criminal Justice. I'm from a small town in Tennessee. Uh, we don't see much crime. We kind of take care of our own. A Fox News poll released Wednesday night reported that almost half of Americans describe crime as an emergency. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.